serious question for you. Sure. Because of the kind of character that you played, not the best kind of person or whatever it would be, were, when you like watched it with friends or relatives, were, was everybody kind of like tickled when you finally got it? Um, now, got it meaning sex As or dead? No, no, no. Okay. As in on the, on the tow truck. Um, believe it or not, my mom likes watching me die. <laughs> And my dad, his dream is to play a dead person in a movie. So, um, they, I think they, they all enjoy uh, me, watching me play the asshole, but I've done it so many times now that they're like, okay, we've seen it, move on, transition somewhere else. So, um, they, they get a kick out of it. And if they end up not liking me, I know I did a good job, because they know who I am. Thanks. You're welcome. They're so welcome. There it is. I hear you. Oh, no, I'll stand. Okay, I, sorry. Were you a fan of Jason before playing? I was. I'm a, I'm a nerd for Jason. Jason was like my favorite horror icon before I got hired. And so it was kind of hard keeping it together when I got the call to be the character. I was trying to be professional. Oh, what were you shooting when? Oh, that sounds fantastic. And so I'm like, ah! like breaking things in my house and I'm like a 12 year old girl. <laughs> Derek's left nipple was actually a Jason mask. <laughs> The, wait, the auditioning process, what it was like for, for Jason? Yeah, like... Uh, we had him working in a, uh, a contrasting monologue, a comedy and a, a, a drama, and I'm totally lying. You had to dance as well. <laughs> no, uh, I actually got hired because uh, only two of us were brought in to audition for the character. Um, it was a lot of word of mouth. Uh, Brad and Drew from Platinum Dooms so asked a lot of different industry professionals, like Scott Stoddard, who ended up doing the makeup, uh, Greg Nicotero from KMB. A couple other people also, I like, they thought, you know, I knew who would be a good new Jason. And um, I'm very fortunate they, they put my name in. They, they all, my name kept popping up, which was very nice. Um, but for the auditioning process, I went in and basically uh, the producers and the director were on location scout in Austin at the time. So I was with the casting director and I was just talking to a, a video camera. And they were asking questions about the character, you know, what I knew about the character. And uh, they are talking about, they said this time around we need someone uh, and noticed before, or whatever, and that's not my intention, but we don't want to want a guy with a mask and say we need a professional actor. They go, why do you think that's, why do we need that? And I go, well, of course you would, because it, it, to me it doesn't matter what's in front of your face or not. If you do the character research and you do, if you commit to the moment, whatever's happening 100%, that energy is going to be able to transfer through the mask or whatever you're wearing and be captured on film. If you walk in like, oh, I have a mask on, I'm a big guy and I'm a killer, that's what you're going to get. It's going to be very one-sided. So I, uh, I guess that they liked that, and then they gave me a call and I got hired. Yeah, he had to cry in the audition. I had to cry, yes. And yeah, they liked that. It's good. <laughs> we, do we get Hi. Uh, so I know uh, Kate Hodder is crazy to say, I can't have a framework Jason. What if Kate Hodder like, approached you about who would win that fight? <laughs> wait, wait, if Kate and I fought? Yeah. Who would win? <laughs> uh, I, I don't. Uh, Kane and I have become really. Like, we're, we're friends, so I can't really say. Um, I, I won't say it. So, uh, no, no, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be a good pay per view. I do got skills though. I watch that. I try to be some MMA. I will tie punch. I will guillotine. I know it. I don't know. No, no. That was like the worst answer ever. He rambled on. Like, <laughs> <laughs> now, Kane is great. Kane, it's so funny because I know what I asked like, with, with Kane because like, I know he had a problem with uh, cursing her uh, before uh, with the uh, Freddy vs. Jason. And I was like, hey, just he didn't eat you. Does he want to destroy you? And we get along so well. We tease each other all the time. He's really a good guy. Sorry, that, wasn't, that was kind of boring. I mean, I'll punch his face in. <laughs> Actually, um, they wanted a sub guy to do, to do the little trick first, and I said, wait, whoa, I, I want to do it. The guy had terrible fake hair that didn't even look like mine. First <laughs> what's this? And then this come on. Um, so, me and Derek actually, we had to fit between those two spikes about this big. We had to fit in between it. So I know we practiced a few times. I had to step up onto like a little mount and 
base that be turned. Let's, let's do a little reenactment. <laughs> Excuse me. Um, no, I would have to step up. So basically, I think it was, I, I would step and turn, and then we just take one and keep it up. Oh, that would be just how we're doing it, right? We're not doing it. There's no spike. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but we have a very small place to fit in between, so we had to get it right. He had to be very gentle and delicate, even though he's been very vicious. So he has a nice touch, soft hands, and just a great heart. Uh, <laughs> but it was, uh, it was fun to do. It's always good to do your own stuff. So Jackie Chan taught me that. <laughs> now, Travis was awesome. He, he, he uh, embraced the, uh, the stunts like uh, amazingly well. He was he's such a, not to blow him in front of everybody, he's such an amazing athlete. Uh, kids in the room. <laughs> but a fun horror fact about him, which people would take a uh, uh, horror coincidence, uh, your previous double, uh, Chris Carnell, uh, left Friday the 13th uh, to do uh, My Bloody Valentine, and he played the minor in My Bloody Valentine, which is pretty cool. Yeah. Yeah, it was funny, because Chris and I have been friends for a long time, I like, hey, we're actually on Friday, he's like, oh man, I'm gonna, I just got a call, I'm gonna go do another show called uh, My Bloody Valentine or something, they want me to be the killer, dude, it's gonna be awesome, I'm like, are you kidding me, that's fucking awesome. They didn't really know what it was until they got there, then they embraced it, it's so awesome. Why, how many times can I say awesome? I have a limited vocabulary. Say it three times fast. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Got it. Next question. Did that answer your question? Derek, you're obviously not like a crazy single killer. So hey, like, what did you think about to get into character? Like, Dirty things. <laughs> <laughs> no, sorry, I cut you off. So, what, what did I think about to get into the character? To get into character, yes. Um, I just, I did a, it's funny because like, everyone's like, oh, you're so nice, but it's like a radio thing. You know, everybody has like, a good side and a bad side. It's like, I'm, I'm happy to be here now and everyone's so kind. So, of course, it's kind of like a, it's like a racquetball wall where you're throwing the like, positive energy and I'm like, you know, bouncing it back to you. You take the energy. Um, Don't make him angry. Exactly. I get pissed off. I get, I got a real bad side. I do bad things. Um, no, the uh, I just did character research. Like you would approach any other role. I did a lot of research on child psychology and um, the, the psychology of being alone in the woods, uh, wilderness survival. And so taking that, you can build your character. So when you you're yourself, you can play around and goof around. But when it's time to slip the character on, you've already built like a, a shell of a story. It's kind of like. To, to nerd talk, like, like Dungeons and Dragons, you had your character ready, you had your character sheet, and you have your skills, you, you, you figured out you know, what your, your pros and cons are, and then you just switch over to character, and then when they yell cut, you go back to you know, playing grab ass and making fun of each other. You guys ever played grab ass? <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> Raise your hands if you have. Nope, okay. <laughs> nice. It's a celebrity chess match. <laughs> that would be much better. <laughs> Battle of the wits. Who's smarter? What? Got a hair drunk? What? <laughs> awesome. <laughs> okay, one's this one's for uh, Travis. Hello, sir. In in the scene where the body's thrown through a police car window. Yes. Um, when you scream, scream like a. When you, when you scream like a. When you scream like a girl, was it written like that, or was that just you? It was not written like that. Um, believe it or not, when I get cornered, or um, when I'm scared, if I get caught off guard, I tend to scream like that. My girlfriend has a very manly scream, and I have a very girlish scream. False. Or my eyes just open up really wide. I totally was scared you. It was still like diet coke. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, I, I just did that because that's what I do, and I mean, the girl was falling from 15 feet up, breaking fake glass, the glass was being basically thrown at my face, so I was really protecting myself. Um, I did it the first two times with the screen. Um, they told me not to do the screen anymore. Um, and then for the last one, they said, do it really big, and the really big one they used. Because I was doing, I was like, they're not going to use this, I'll do it really big, and that's what they used. <laughs> I feel bad about snacking on the table. It's okay. I thought you, just, you said you'd scream every time you're scared. You didn't scream. But, but to scream like that, I have to warm up. <coughs> so let's hear the scream. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was a one-time deal. Uh, Come on. I don't even know how to do it. Derek, scare the shit out of him. Roar! <laughs> 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 Time. How are you? Good. Um, hey, what did Jason look like behind the mask? What was the inspiration? Like? You know, was oh, um, when 
what Jason looked like behind the mask? Uh, Scott Stoddard, uh, who designed the makeup, is a big fan of the series. Uh, he said it was a combination of uh, 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 the kind of the hillbilly Jason from Part Two. I think he said, um, I want to say um, Brooker's Jason for underneath the mask, and he kind of melded the two together. Um, but yeah, same thing with the, with the uh, I forget what he said for the mask also, the actual uh, hockey mask. He combined two different masks together because he, he's a fan of the series and he wanted to, you know, kind of do like winks and nods to, the, uh, to all the fans. So it's kind of cool. I thought he was really respectful of that. <clears throat> what was the, uh, was the burlap set very difficult to wear? Burlap? I want to put the sack on? Yeah. No, um, it, it was a, uh, oh yes and no, I mean it, it cuts off your, your vision, you lose all your depth perception and when you're racing at one of your friends with a machete and you have to stop inches from them, it kind of screws things up, it's a lot of trust involved, but um, no, it wasn't, um, it was kind of gross after a while, like you sneezed or something and kind of got wet and it would kind of stick in your face, <laughs> you couldn't really tell anybody about it because then you'd be a freakazoid, but oh no, it's part of the goo, no, it's, it's part of something, no, it's part of the goo, yeah, exactly, it's pretty gross. But no, it was, uh, it was pretty comfortable. Hey, uh, my question's kind of for both of you. Um, which was your favorite of the Friday the 13th movies before you got the roles for the new one? The first one was my favorite. I, I like watching the first one the best because the very end, you know, it's revealed who the real, real killer is. Um, there was just a lot of those scary, eerie moments uh, when they were in, there was one when they were in the, uh, the bathroom and you keep looking like, uh, okay, no one's over there. No one's over there. Then all of a sudden, you know, they pull it open. It's just that, that I like I liked the first one the best. It's my favorite. Right on! Thank you, Betsy Palmer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, mine was the uh, part four. I really dug uh, Ted White's Jason. And uh, I don't know, it was weird to, 